isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Ako ang gurong makakasama nyo, Maestro Olaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto! Before we begin, let's go back to the previous lesson. Because of that, get ready for Mahtanong! Mahtanong number one. What are the four main steps in solving word problems? Just remember the S, T, A, R. Star. S. Study the word problem carefully. T. Think of a plan. A. Act on the plan. R. Review and check your answer. Mathanong number 2. How do we change an improper fraction to a mixed number? In changing an improper fraction to a mixed number, we divide the numerator by the denominator. The quotient will be the whole number. The remainder will be the numerator and copy the divisor as the denominator. For example, 13 halves. 13 divided by 2 equals 6, with a remainder of 1. 6 is the whole number, 1 is the numerator, and 2 is the denominator. So, 13 halves is equal to 6 and 1 half. Mathanong number 3. How do we change a mixed number to an improper fraction? In changing a mixed number to an improper fraction, we multiply the denominator by the whole number and add to the numerator. Then copy the denominator. For example, 6 and 1 half. 2 times 6 plus 1 equals 13. Copy the denominator too. Therefore, 6 and 1 half is equal to 13 halves. And now, let's start our new lesson. Get and open your sub-learning module in Mathematics 6 for us to Matalakay! Welcome to our lesson for the day all about multiplying simple fractions and mixed fractions. Multiplying fractions are just like multiplying numbers. To multiply fractions, you have to multiply the numerators and the denominators. If the product is an improper fraction, simplify or reduce it to its lowest term. For example, 3 fourths times 1 half. First, multiply the numerators 3 times 1 equals 3. Next, multiply the denominators 4 times 2 equals 8. So we have 3 eighths. Is it already the lowest term? Yes, 3 eighths is the final answer. Now, we can use another method in multiplying fractions. This is called the cancellation method. The cancellation method can be applied before multiplying fractions so that the product is already in its lowest term. You can apply cancellation if there is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. Let us use the cancellation method in the following examples. Example number one, multiplying a fraction by another fraction. Four fifths times 10 elevenths. First, look for the possible numerator and denominator to cancel. Possible pairs are 4 and 5, 10 and 11, 4 and 11, or 5 and 10. The pair of numerator and denominator with a common factor is 5 and 10, and their greatest common factor is 5. Therefore, divide both by 5. 5 divided by 5 becomes 1. 10 divided by 5 becomes 2. Multiply the numerator and the denominator by the cancelled numerators and denominators. 4 times 2 equals 8. 1 times 11 equals 11. 
So, we have 8 elevenths. Is it already the lowest term? Yes, 8 elevenths is the final answer. Example number 2. Multiplying a fraction by a whole number. 5 twelfths times 6. First, rename the whole number as a fraction by using 1 as a denominator. Look for a pair of numerator and denominator with the greatest common factor or GCF. 6 and 12 have 6 as their GCF. Divide 6 and 12 by 6. 6 divided by 6 becomes 1. 12 divided by 6 becomes 2. Multiply the numerator by the reduced numerator. 5 times 1 equals 5. Also, multiply the reduced denominator by the other denominator. 2 times 1 equals 2. We have 5 halves. Is it already the lowest term? Not necessarily because it is an improper fraction and we need to change it to mixed number by dividing 5 by 2. We have 2 as the quotient with the remainder of 1. Therefore, the final answer is 2 and 1 half. Example number 3. Multiplying a fraction by a mixed number. 5, 6 times 3 and 1 half. First, Rename the mixed number to an improper fraction. Multiply the denominator by the whole number and add the given numerator. 2 times 3 plus 1 equals 7. Copy the denominator 2. We have 7 halves. 5, 6 times 7 halves. Do we have a pair of numerator and denominator that has a common factor other than 1? None. Now, directly multiply the numerators and denominators. 5 times 7 equals 35. 6 times 2 equals 12. So, we have 35 twelfths. Is it already the lowest term? Not necessarily, because we could rename it as a mixed number. 35 divided by 12 equals 2, with a remainder of 11. Therefore, the final answer is 2 and 11 twelfths. Example number 4. Multiplying a whole number by a mixed number. 8 times 5 and 1 half. First, rename the whole number as a fraction using 1 as the denominator. Also, Change the mixed number to an improper fraction. Multiply the denominator by the whole number and add to the numerator. 2 times 5 plus 1 equals 11. And copy the denominator 2. We have 11 halves. 8 over 1 times 11 halves. Do we have a pair of numerator and denominator that has a common factor other than 1? Yes, 8 and 2 have their GCF of 2. Using the cancellation method, 8 divided by 2 becomes 4, 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. Multiply the reduced numerator by the other numerator. 4 times 11 equals 44. Multiply the denominator by the reduced denominator. 1 times 1 equals 1. Now, we have 44 over 1 which means 44 divided by 1 and the final answer is 44. Example number 5. Multiplying a mixed number by a mixed number. 2 and 2 fifths times 5 and 3 fourths. First, Change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. 5 times 2 plus 2 equals 12. Copy the denominator 5. We have 12 fifths. 4 times 5 plus 3 equals 23. Copy the denominator 4. We have 23 fourths. 12 fifths times 23 fourths. 
do we have a pair of numerator and denominator that has a common factor other than 1? Yes, 12 and 4 with their GCF 4. Using the cancellation method, 12 divided by 4 becomes 3, 4 divided by 4 becomes 1. Multiply the reduced numerator by another numerator. 3 times 23 equals 69. Also, multiply the denominator by the reduced denominator. 5 times 1 equals 5. Now, we have 69 fifths. By changing the improper fraction to a mixed number, we have the final answer, 13 and 4 fifths. And now, we will see if you can answer our next task. Join with me and say, Mah try nga! What is 4 fifths of 10 elevenths of 7 eighths? First thing to do is to translate it to a mathematical sentence. 4 fifths times 10 elevenths times 7 eighths. Let us use the cancellation method. Look for a numerator and denominator that has a GCF. Yes, 4 and 8 have their GCF of 4. Using the cancellation method, we reduce 4 and 8. 4 divided by 4 becomes 1. 8 divided by 4 becomes 2. Is there any pair of numerator and denominator that can still be cancelled or reduced? Yes. 5 and 10 have their GCF of 5. 5 divided by 5 becomes 1. 10 divided by 5 becomes 2. Now, look at the numbers. Do we still have a pair that can be cancelled or reduced? Yes. As you can see, we have a pair of 2s. Obviously, they have a GCF of 2. 2 divided by 2 becomes 1. Now, do we have any more pairs with a GCF? None. Then, multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 times 7 equals 7. Also, multiply the denominators. 1 times 11 times 1 equals 11. We have 7 elevens. Is it already the lowest term? Yes! Our final answer is 7 elevens. Did you get the correct answer? I hope that you understand the steps in multiplying fractions and you will always Mahtandaan! Again, how do we multiply fractions by any given form of fractions? In multiplying fractions, just multiply the numerators and the denominators. Reduce the fractions to its lowest term whenever possible. You can use the cancellation method before multiplying the fractions so that the product is already in its lowest term. You can apply cancellation method if there is a greatest common factor in the numerator and the denominator. This time, test yourself. It's Mathematics Time! I will show you the complete solution of the multiplication of fractions. Then, find the missing number to make the solution correct. Are you ready? Get a piece of paper now and join me in answering the following.
Let us check your answers. Number one, the answer is 15. Multiplying 3 by 5 equals 15. Number two, the answer is 1. Change 36 fifths to a mixed number. 36 divided by 5 becomes 7 with a remainder of 1. So, 36 fifths is equal to 7 and 1 fifth. Number 3, the answer is 3. 3 over 1 is equal to the whole number 3. Number 4, the answer is 16 and 1 half. Change 33 halves to a mixed number. Then, divide 33 by 2 so it becomes 16 with a remainder of 1. So, 33 halves is equal to 16 and 1 half. Number 5, the answer is 52. Multiply the reduced numerator by the other numerator. 4 times 13 equals 52. And 52 thirds is equal to 17 and 1 third. Now, how many of you got 4 and 5 correct answers? Congratulations! <laughs> to those who got 3 and below, do not worry. Go back to your self-learning module and answer the learning tasks. Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuwan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Ulaso na nagsasabing ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinig sa mathematics.